I've owned the Jaguar I-Pace now for a week, and every time I look at it, it still excites me, and that says something. Ian Callum, Jaguar's design director, has said, we had the opportunity to change the fundamental proportions of an SUV, and to me, that really shows. It has Jaguar performance, design, and luxury at its heart. But it's a Jaguar with a difference. The I-Pace is Jaguar's first all-electric mid-sized SUV. The I-Pace shares design inspiration with the influential CX75 concept supercar. Every feature of the design works incredibly hard in increasing its aerodynamics in order to increase its range efficiency. The flush door handles being a great example of this. The hood scoop is also functional. Air comes in through the large grill, out through the scoop, up over the roof and down through the rear spoiler. It's so efficient, a rear glass wiper isn't fitted. Behind the grill, active vanes direct air to cool the batteries. They close when they're not needed, again, to optimize on aerodynamics. Every detail has purpose. Moving around to the rear, the spoiler and the diffuser down here all help extend the car's range. And you'll see there's no tailpipes, no emission. It's clean, simple, and intelligent. Importantly, an electric vehicle powertrain requires less space than a conventional internal combustion engine, with things like the wheel placement being able to be pushed out to the corners of the car. This not only gives the I-Pace better road handling and stability, but results in a roomier cabin. If I pop the trunk using the very practical gesture tailgate, just like this, you can see the I-Pace really has a generous amount of space far beyond its compact footprint. I found owning the I-Pace really straightforward and stress-free, and charging couldn't be simpler. I had this 32 amp AC wall box fitted, and it takes approximately 13 hours to charge from completely zero to 100%. That's about 240 miles of range. As well as charging at home, there are AC destination charges found at places you may want to stay for several hours or even overnight, including local shopping centers, hotels, and gyms. For those longer journeys where you need to charge on the road, there's a comprehensive network of DC journey charges at rest areas and larger gas stations. A typical 50 kilowatt DC rapid charger can achieve zero to 80% charge in 85 minutes. The interior is bathed in natural light through this full-length panoramic glass roof. The special glass keeps cabin temperature optimized, which means less reliance on the climate control. This conserves battery range. I get a real sense of luxury and refinement from the interplay of different materials and textures in here. The leather combined with these hard finishes, like this carbon fiber and aluminium. But there's a range of other options too. Gloss black trim or charcoal ash veneer, for instance. No transmission means extra storage in this floating center console with discrete USB chargers either side. And there's further charging points in this deep storage compartment with a very clever place for your phone. Now I'm familiar with Jaguar's fully customizable Touch Pro Duo system, but there are additional features on the iPace. Here on the 10 inch upper touchscreen is the home for navigation, media, and phone connectivity. The lower 5.5 inch screen floats and has these tactile multifunctional dials for features like climate control, heated, and cooled seats. Here right in front of me, the standard interactive driver display, that's also customizable. It lets me lay the screen out with different information. So if I want a full 3D map, I can get it. And on top of that, I've got the speedometer and range information in front of me too. In the navigation system, EV navigation delivers more accurate range predictions, providing information specific to my eye pace and driving style. The system features route options based on the car's remaining charge, charge point locations, and range-friendly routes. And on a long journey, I can manage the iPace to give me battery priority. By selecting Eco, it modifies settings like climate, audio volume, and accelerator response in order to save battery power. But for me, this is a game changer. 
software over the air wireless updates available to ensure I have access to the latest iPace software it means the car is constantly updating itself. The fact that Jaguar uses the same permanent magnet synchronous electric motors for their Formula E racing cars as they do in this, the iPace, is very impressive. And when my foot goes down, this 394 horsepower version reaches 60 miles per hour in just 4.5 seconds. That's 512 foot-pound of immediate torque. That's pulling approximately 0.6 Gs, which is just shy of an F-16 jet at takeoff. The performance, in part, is due to the battery position, which is low between the two axles, giving it near 50-50 front-rear weight distribution. And the standard active electronic air suspension automatically lowers the ride height at speed to reduce drag. The optional adaptive dynamics with configurable dynamics delivers real-time ride adjustment to optimise the balance between comfort, refinement and agility. Being familiar with Jaguar, I'm already a big fan of the many convenient features available through the In Control Remote app, but with the Jaguar iPace, that's been taken to a whole new level. From the comfort of my home or from wherever I am, I can check on things like battery level, charging rate and my estimated range. And the magic continues. Alexa, ask Jaguar to unlock my car. Your car is unlocked. With the iPace, there's so many clever, innovative, cool things about the car. If I'm on a long journey, I like to catch up with friends or listen to some music. Jaguar has fitted acoustic laminated glass, which reduces cabin noise, making for a very relaxing journey. However, at the other end of the spectrum, the sound designers at Jaguar have introduced engine acceleration noise through the car's loudspeakers. As a driver, this gives you a real sense of power during acceleration. At higher speeds, the pitch and tone gets edgier. A reminder, you're part of Jaguar's performance heritage. Other intelligent technologies include things like enhanced brake regeneration. Now this uses the kinetic energy of braking to recharge the battery. By using the touchscreen, you can raise the level of regenerative braking. The corresponding increase in deceleration means that in stop and go traffic, there's far greater control of your speed using only the throttle. So driving in heavy traffic just got a whole lot easier. It has all the hallmarks of a Jaguar, design, luxury, and the performance characteristic. But the iPace is the evolution of those qualities to the next level.